All right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to the day of the my 1000 day challenge. This is day 249, so let's get things started. We're actually very close to a quarter way mark, which is extremely fast, I would say. So the progress, I wouldn't say is good or bad, I would say is around there. I mean, things affected wise, I would say things could definitely be better, but things could of course be a lot worse as well. So when it comes to trading wise, you can see in terms of setup wise, the equity wise is about the same as of yesterday, except the experimental trade setup. We took a long setup for link and it took in the favor and we took profit based on that. Otherwise, not much changes in terms of setup. We did enter a long side trade in terms of Bitcoin itself, and this was a potential setup. I entered at a much uh, less attractive price, I think 59k ish. So that's something because I entered a little bit late and I did have a buy stop order per se. All right. Otherwise, uh, there's nothing much to do. I'll be monitoring this trade itself. On the other hand, in terms of market structure update, we can see that S&P 500 and also for ASHR is actually remaining really bullish right now. If you look in terms of the daily chart itself, so S&P 500 after this consolidation period was say from here to here, we have sort of break up nicely above. So if we do actually fall back and retest this key resistance that was actually rejected once and twice before it break out. It will actually be a very good sign in my opinion before we actually continue towards the upside. But of course, then again, it may not have to do so. It can just continue right all the way up before you find the next resistance itself. So that's something to always bear in mind if you're looking for pullbacks. All right, so other than that, uh, similarly, if you look in terms of Nasdaq wise, we actually break out this key resistance, this 50 simple moving average, after it acted as somewhat like a support, break down, act as a resistance, resistance, and then now we break right above, and then we continue towards the upside. So could we be retesting the new all-time high, the previous all-time high once again? Potentially, yes. So depending on the reaction, we could have a clean rejection or to form a double top down formation, or we could have some sort of consolidation before we actually pull back, or we could have a much nicer, larger, long-term kind of a consolidation on the same middle of June before we actually break towards the upside or the downside in that matter. All right, and moving on in terms of ASHR, things are looking great as well. We have broke down, broke above this now stop uh, pullback itself, and also above this 20 exponential moving average. In comes to trading wise, I'll be definitely looking to add. And even in terms of investment wise, if you have missed the opportunity here, I would say here is still a relatively good place to add because if you're comparing in terms of price premium wise, it's only around less than 5%, 4% ish. And it's very hard for me to say that. Yeah, and generally you would have only noticed it only after the next day. So the gap itself isn't very big, or the discount isn't very big in that matter. All right, especially if you look in terms of long term perspective. On the other hand, for KWeb is a little bit more bearish. So the, 50, the 150 simple moving average still looks to be rejective. But like I mentioned this is a key the accumulation zone. So you can see that support is definitely found over here. So as, as price remains above here, I'm still tentatively bullish. But if it remains below this 20 exponential moving average for extended period of time, then again, the sentiment could change drastically as well. All right, and finally for Bitcoin itself. So like I mentioned, things still looks to be good. We are somewhat consolidating like this. Uh, we may or may not be forming this somewhat like an ascending triangle pattern, but we do consolidate over here. We see this is a very nice sort of a consolidation prior to a breakout, be towards the ups, which is something that I do hope for. Or on the other hand, it could be a breakdown as well. So that's something that I'm very cautious as well. So for me, I'm still leaning towards the bullish side of things, but as things goes, you could always have a local top or even a cycle top itself for Bitcoin itself. Because if you look in terms of price right now, which is very much above what we have seen, say compared to last year, almost close to six times higher in terms of pricing. You're looking at a 10,000 mark or even 10 times higher, you're looking near the 5,000 mark region as well. So that's something to always keep in mind. And yeah, so basically you have a long set up over here, that was based on the four hour trade that I mentioned. I wanted a clean break above these 150 and 50 simple moving average, which it did, along with strong volume. And even with a strong rejection volume itself, it was somewhat form of exhaustion or indecision kind of candlestick, which by nature isn't that bearish. So depending on how this candlestick itself closed, and if it does open up again, then it will be more bullish in itself. But of course, if we just break cleanly below, then it goes to show that this wasn't a very nice, this is not acting as a very nice support after it has been breached. So that's something to always bear in mind. All right, otherwise, that's more or less about it. I have the quick update for you guys today. And tomorrow, I'm actually trying to see if I can update this entire format because now I understand it's actually quarter mark of my 1000 day challenge. 
I may be switching certain things up, but of course, I'm still having my daily update. Of course, the format may change a little bit. I'll see what is more important, what is less important, and I'll potentially put in some sort of like a call to action kind of thing in terms of my indices, which I'm monitoring as well. So with that said, I wish you guys a great evening ahead, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.